Hey friend, if you've been thinking about getting sober, but you don't want to go to AA, you don't want to tell all your friends, you totally should check out my Sober Up to Glow Up program. It's 30 days, it's self-paced, but it's guided by me. So every single day you get to log on and you get a new video. And some of the things we talk about are moderation, triggers, cravings, what to expect. We do yoga, we do breathing techniques. You're going to get a journal and affirmations and a private support group. It's awesome. Check it out at vibewithstephanie.com slash glow up. Hey, we are back again and I'm doing another video. I just went and did a wardrobe change really quickly. All the things I said I was not going to do, but you know what, whatever is going to make this podcast more visible and more searchable, then I will do that because over this past year have realized what a journey this is and how hard it was to even consider doing on my own. It took me how many decades to finally quit drinking and had so many preconceived notions that now I've been able to break through those beliefs. And so I feel like it's very important that I share what I know and what I'm learning along the way with you or with any other woman who is feeling stuck for beliefs and reasons that she's held on to for so long. So I want to make sure among all the other sober podcasts that this one does get heard and seen and felt around the world. And I know we have people in other countries, which is so amazing, but I don't think we're anywhere near even touching the surface. So having said that, please share if any of these episodes have resonated with you and you feel good about them and you feel like I'm authentic and maybe something I'm saying is going to help others, please share it. Don't keep it to yourself. I know for a fact that I could have used somebody like me, somebody who is just tell it like it is and just spell it out. How's it going to be? What's it going to look like? How's it going to feel? That would have helped me a lot. (laughs) So I think that's why I'm kind of doing it now because I just want to make sure other people kind of have a pathway cleared out for them, you know? So you've probably been wondering already because there's commercials on TV, everything's starting to lean towards the holidays. I know that you've been wondering whether this is a good time for you to get sober. If it's been nudging you, if it's been tapping you on the shoulder a little bit, like, man, I wonder if I should drink at that party. Or I wonder if I should just not drink at all in December or November. Or what if I just stop drinking in January? So I'm sure you've been toying with the idea. And I wanted to give you a few things to think about that might help you on your decision. Because a lot of times it feels so heavy to think about. It's too much information. It feels too hard. So we just say, oh, I'll think about it later. And then another year goes by and nothing changed or things even got worse. So I've made a list of things that will help you in your decision. So one of the first things that came to my mind is, is this already giving you anxiety? Is it already making you feel nervous? All social events and activities used to give me anxiety because of alcohol. I was thinking, am I going to black out? Am I going to say something silly and ridiculous? Am I going to offend someone, hurt someone's feelings? Am I going to drive drunk and get a a DUI, kill someone, kill myself? What's going to happen? All of those thoughts because of one social event. And this could even be a daytime event. Let me tell you, this could even be my girlfriend saying, Hey, meet us for brunch at noon, I would start this insane anxiety process, thinking of all the horrible things that could go wrong. And then the moderation thing saying, oh, I'm just, how about if I just have two drinks? Well, maybe if I have three, but if I drink waters in between and make sure not to drink any shots, even if everybody starts drinking shots. And then wouldn't you know that I would end up at one of the clubs or the bars, downtown Fort Lauderdale, Sunday night, at a club until maybe three in the morning on Monday, sometimes the anxiety in itself can lead to overdrinking, overthinking and making big mistakes. So that's one of my favorite things about quitting drinking and making that actual decision to stop drinking forever. The chains are gone. Anxiety is gone. I don't have to think about any one of those things ever again, never again. I know that I will never go to jail unless I've got alcohol in my system, unless I have to hurt somebody on behalf of my son, (laughs) which pretend I didn't say that. I'm going to maybe even edit that out, but I know that I'm not going to go to jail unless I'm drinking and I don't have to stress about offending people or, you know, texting someone or posting something crazy or really icky pictures that got taken. I just 
don't have to worry about waking up ashamed or guilty. So if you've had any anxiety about quitting drinking or the event that you might be thinking about not drinking for, like there's a party that your parents are having and you're thinking that maybe you shouldn't drink and you're ping-ponging back and forth and you can feel that your anxiety is starting to raise, that's a good sign that you should just skip it. I mean, I always had anxiety about any kind of drinking, any event that I was invited to, football party, then I got to get wine when I come home so that I can wind down from the party. Just insane. All right. So another way to tell that you should skip drinking for this event or for the holiday season is, did you get drunk and make a mistake last year? Did you already do something you regret? Did you come close to making a mistake and woke up the next morning thinking, oh my God, thank God I didn't do that? Or did you wake up thinking, oh my God, I can't believe I did that? Did you already make a mistake that has left you feeling ashamed and embarrassed? And now you've got to face these people that you're likely going to see again. That that's a sign that you just should skip it. Skip either skip the event or skip the drinking altogether. Skip it for that event. Skip it for the holidays. If you're making mistakes while you're drunk that are making you do things that you would not do normally, then that is a good sign to, it's time to skip it because you're having a hard time moderating. You're having a hard time saying no, and you're having a hard time keeping your composure. And, and let me just say right now that that is not your fault. That is the job of alcohol to make it hard to moderate and hard to say no and hard, you know, this is its job. You just kind of slowly somehow over the last 10, 20 years fell into this trap. It's not your fault, but It is your job now to take responsibility of it. You cannot keep making the same mistakes and go into that holiday party again, hoping that you'll moderate, hoping it won't happen again. You're going to feel awkward and weird. Just choose not to drink. Just choose not to drink. Bring your own sparkly waters. You know what to do. VibeWithStephanie.com has so many tools for what to do to keep yourself sober during a party or an outing. The other one is, do you already have health concerns relating to alcohol? I had a friend tell me that there's a lady who is like the life of the party and she's the best woman ever, but she's had a bunch of different types of cancer. She's had a full on heart attack and she's still just a heavy drinker, but always just the life of the party, but has diabetes, has high blood pressure, all these problems. So her health is being affected by her drinking and she may not be open to that. She may not see that, but do you, do you see that for yourself? Is your health suffering? And health can be mental health too, because mine was taking a massive toll. My health, my mental health was struggling big time. My self-esteem was low. I didn't know what was wrong with me. Why can't I keep myself together when it comes to alcohol? Why is all I ever think about alcohol? Why is my stomach hurt and out to here and I'm 30 pounds heavier and I'm just low vibing because of my drinking? And a lot of times we're in denial, so you may not even be able to see it, but dig deep here and think, is your mental health already declining due to alcohol? And if it is, take that as a sign to skip it this holiday season. You are not going to regret staying sober. Another one, I think I have like 10 of these. So another sign, you want to be present with your family and you already feel like life is fleeting. There's not that many holidays left when our kids are this little or when our kids are living in the house or when certain family members are even going to be alive. So if you have this nudge and gut feeling that you want to be present desperately, you cannot be present under the influence of alcohol. Unfortunately, I've tried. So you're going to need to let it go for this season or for this event if you want to be fully present. And then I do have some advice too. If you're a heavy drinker, it's going to be hard to be very present because alcohol is still in your system. Your brain chemistry is still working on alcohol and expecting to be served its drug. So my recommendation is if you don't want to drink at that event, start today, start getting sober today. That way you can be fully present because if you drink all the way up to this event and then you don't drink at the event, your mind's going to be all over the place. You're going to be thinking about alcohol. Your, your body's going to be like, where is it? You're going to be eyeing the liquor, not enjoying the, the company and the food. So if you're thinking about quitting for the holidays, start now. That's my advice. Or as soon as humanly possible. 
And then, yeah, we don't have a lot of time with our kids left tomorrow. We don't even have tomorrow. Tomorrow is not even promised. So if you want to be present, get rid of the alcohol and start now. All right. If you want to volunteer more, if you want to hit up church on Christmas Eve and you want to have clear eyes and a clear head, that's a good sign. Maybe quit drinking so that you can start volunteering so that you can feel good about stepping through the doors at church. I remember after I lost one of my girlfriends, I went to church smelling like smoke and booze. I smoked a cigarette in the parking lot of the church and probably just finished my last drink just a couple hours before. I didn't know what to do with myself. So I took, but drove myself to some random church I'd never been to before. And the past at the end of the service kind of walked down all the pews and stopped at me and like leaned in to talk to me and backed away pretty quickly. And I don't know if it was from the spirits, from the literal devil coming out of my body or the smell or the vibe that I gave him, but he didn't stay long. He leaned in and leaned out quickly. And so I don't know if you know this, but the low vibrations that alcohol is giving you, the feeling is palpable. Everybody can feel it. Everybody can sense it. Even if you're not smelling like alcohol, which you probably are. My mom has a distinct alcohol smell. I can still remember to this day. I didn't know at the time it was alcohol smell, but I know now for sure. So your vibes and your smell may be keeping you from volunteering, keeping you from getting close to people, keeping you from helping and from stepping foot into church, thinking you might set the place on fire because I felt like the actual devil walking in there. That probably sounds insane, but it's true. I was abusing myself and just getting taken down from her death that she inflicted. Anyway, you want better pictures. You want to show up less bloated, less greasy and waxy looking and gray and just would like to show up looking nice in these pictures that are going to last a lifetime that your kids are going to have forever so if you want to look better you're going to need to sober up and stay away from the booze if you can look back at some of my christmas pictures and just it was just the picture of unhealth unhealth and maybe you want to remember everything that happens it's really sad to think of how many Christmases and even Christmas mornings waking up and just not having a lot of memory from things because I got wasted the night before. That's just sad. We're wasting time ingesting poison to celebrate these special occasions. And we're not really celebrating, we're hurting ourselves and we're hurting those around us too. This, this is, you know, it's emotional. It's coming up on my second Christmas sober. And I just wish if anything that I hadn't spent so many of them drunk and missing out on things. So if you nodded your head to any of these, if any of these resonated, you feel like, yes, that was me. Yes, yes, yes. Then try getting sober for the holidays. You're not going to regret it. And I definitely do recommend starting now. Because like I said, you show up to one party and that's your first day getting sober. It's going to be weird. It's going to be awkward. It's going to suck. Your head's not going to be in it. So start as soon as you can before that happens. So you kind of are already getting your sober legs. You want to have some sober legs. And I always tell my group that if you're going to get sober, I would like them to stay home for 30 days. I would like you not to go to any events for 30 days, hunker down, self-care, tons of tools that I give them. And resources, but my advice is usually just to stay indoors, stay, not indoors, because I want you to go for walks and stuff, but stay safe and away from parties. So if you're thinking now about these parties coming up, start now. So it's not weird. And so all of this stuff, all of the tools that I've given you will actually work. All right. I hope that helps. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. You know, you can always email me. I'm actually on the other end of the email. So message me and let me know how you like this podcast. If any of these tips and advice are helping, if you have any questions, if you need a little more insight, or if you have suggestions about upcoming podcasts, I'm open for that. All right. Love you so much. Have a great day and happy upcoming holidays. I have totally got my holiday music going already. And if you're thinking about maybe staying sober or sober-ish for the holidays, you should totally take advantage of my free Sober Vibes Guide to Surviving the Holidays. You can get it at vibewithstephanie.com slash holiday.